Hey everyone, today I have a very bright and inexpensive keychain flashlight that I've had a lot of fun with, and I think you would too. Stick with me, you're watching Living Survival. So today we're taking a look at the K18 from Ultratac. Now when they contacted me about reviewing this light, I gladly said yes because I've read a lot about this little light and it's met up to its expectation that I had for it. It's a very bright keychain light, 360 max lumens when you use a 10440 battery, a little bit less when you use a AAA. It's very similar to the Thrunite Ti3, except it's got a mode button, which I prefer over the twist head, and it's got about twice the lumen output. It's got a coated lens on the front, and it runs an XP G2 S2 for the LED. It is IPX8 waterproof, so completely uh, submersible and also impact resistant. Comes in three different colors. The stainless, as you see here, a black and also a brass color. The pocket clip is removable, so if you were going to use this on your keychain, for example, you can just pull the... Uh, the pocket clip right off and hang it on your keys. It also is a two-way pocket clip, so you can attach it up front here, and then you'd be able to wear it on your hat, just like a headlamp, which is very cool. And at 360 lumens, it's plenty bright enough for a headlight application. Another nice feature of this flashlight is it ships with a 10440 battery, allowing that higher output. You can get these in rechargeables and on the go, if you just need more power for your light and your battery runs dry, you can pop a AAA and this will run off that as well. Very simple operation using the mode button here. You simply just hold it down and the light will come on. You hold it down again and the light will go off. Once the light is on, you have three modes plus strobes. You have low, medium, high and then you double click for the strobe otherwise you just press it one time and that will filter through your modes and then again just hold it down to turn it off so very simple operation so how is this light twice as bright as the through night ti3 or the lumatop aaa that i previously reviewed well all three are great lights and it's because of that 10 440 battery now you can actually run a 10 440 battery in the ti3 or in the lumatop and it will make it about twice as bright so that's pretty cool as well so let's take a look at the modes and run times on this light. This is 5 lumens. I actually like 5 lumens quite a bit. It's not going to shine too far out in front of you, but it's a good light for just taking the dog out, as I often do, and for around the house. This is going to run for 15 hours. Then we jump up into our 80 lumens, which is nice and bright. This light has the best pattern as far as spot and flood go that I've seen on a keychain light. So I really do like that. The 80 lumens will run for 1.5 uh, hours and then we can go up to our highest which is the 360 lumens. Incredible amount of lumens for this size light. Now the downfall is run time is only going to be 20 minutes at its highest so you're going to want to get a rechargeable 10 440 and keep in mind that run times are going to be significantly more when you're running a triple A. Very nice and bright. Can shine all the way up into that tree. Very, very nice. For a light of this size. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video today taking a look at the K18 keychain flashlight from Ultratac. It's an awesome light with awesome brightness. Keep in mind you got to run that 10 440 in order to achieve those brightness levels and I have since popped a 10 440 into some of my other keychain lights to get the brightness up. It comes in stainless black and brass and you can slap it right on your keys or you can use that included pocket clip and wear it EDC style in your pocket or even flip it around and use it as a headlamp. As I said, it's IPX8 waterproof and drop resistant, so it's going to work good when it's clanging around on your keys. I'm going to put a few links below to where you can find this light and current pricing. I hope you guys give this video a big thumbs up for me. Make sure you leave me some comments below. Make sure you share this video to anybody who might be interested on social media, Google+, Facebook, and Twitter. And while you're leaving me a comment, make sure you click that red subscribe button to make sure you're subscribed for more videos.